Okay, so I have the Agio Z4, and I have to start this review with an apology because the only review that I've done of this stroller on the channel, I think I did like one or two so far a couple years ago, it was like at a trade show, there was noise around, I did it on my phone, never did a proper in-studio review of the stroller, and I apologize because it's amazing. It's also not in my best strollers of 2021. If I could go back and edit it, if YouTube would let me do that, I would put that in there, and I haven't, but you should be looking at it. If this is the first time you're meeting me, I'm Ellie from Magic Beans Videos. Nice to meet you. I review and compare strollers and car seats, a baby gear and toys. We have the most comprehensive reviews and comparisons on YouTube. It's amazing. We have over 22 million views. If you haven't yet, like this video and subscribe today so you could stay up to date when you're shopping for strollers. So. Oh, and also I own a business called Magic Beans. You can buy an Agio Z4 and all the other video, all the other strollers that you see at beans.com. Okay, now here is the Agio Z4. It is made in Italy. So this is the only stroller company that are still making their strollers in Italy. Artisan craftspeople, think about Italy. The um, shoes and the bags and the clothing and the fashion, they know how to make stuff in that country. And the Agio is no exception. They're made by the Peg Perigo brand, but this is sort of a subsidiary of them, and it is just so nice. So in terms of those, um, again, that Italian textiles and fashion, it is just, if you were to touch it, again, you can't touch things through the power of YouTube yet, work on that YouTube, but you can just feel the quality of the textiles, but it's not just a sort of a fashion play, this is absolutely a function stroller. So this is a single stroller, so you'd buy this potentially in the beginning, and then you would turn it, and then it turns into a double stroller. I have a, a Peg Perego lounge car seat that works with the Z4. You can get adapters for a Nuna Pippa if you want, or a Collect Ling, or all those other different types of Ivic car seats if you don't want to get the Peg Perigo one, but the Peg Perigo one works beautifully with the Z4. Pushes really nicely. The quality of the plastics and the aluminum is just really, really nice. They upgraded the wheels recently. Um, it's 2021 with polyurethane wheels, same wheels that they have on Avista. Really good quality wheels that are gonna last a really long time. Um, the seat goes in both directions. All you do is you push these little two buttons on the side and you click it in and now your baby can look at you. You can recline, you can get a bassinet um, as an accessory for this to have a life flat for a newborn or you can click in uh, in a car seat for a newborn or there are different, different types of wedge devices that I imagine you could use with the Z4 to make it used perfectly from newborn. So you can do that. And again, you just pull this little lever on the back and goes up and down and just push these buttons in. Nice, glossy buttons, easy to push. Um, the other thing I just wanna, wanna point out to you is that this is actually quite light. So in terms of the perception of this, the way that it feels when you lift it up, if you're comparing this to a, a Nuna Mix or a, a Baby Vista or all these other strollers, just the feeling of this is quite light. So if you're concerned about, if you want a full-size stroller, but also have it kind of be lightweight, this is another great option for you. Um, this gray leatherette handlebars is just, it feels so, so nice on the hands. Um, let's talk about how this folds down. So it's, um, it's not, um, I'm glad you're watching, and maybe you're watching this because you have one at home and you're like, ah, how do I fold this down? That's how I, I use YouTube too. I just changed a shower head in my bathroom. I'm really proud of it. I didn't even get me or my wife wet, so yay for YouTube for how to things. So in terms of folding the, the seat down, right, look for the little, um, uh, look for the bottom of the canopy. Right behind it, you'll feel that there is um, a little trigger, you, and then you fold the seat in half, just like that, and you can see there's a little handle right here. And then what you do is you just lean down, squeeze, squeeze here, and then just, I just lift here with my shoulders, and it stands on its own. Voila, stands on its own, really easy, and you just lift it again light, throw it into the car. To open it back up, there's a little latch, you unlatch it, and so easy, opens back up. There is an extendable canopy, UV 50 protection, so it's gonna protect you in the sun. Again, feels so nice. I'm um, a little peek of a window so you can see your child. So, so, so cool. Okay, now let's talk about how to turn this into a double stroller, fantastic. So, um, what you wanna do is, again, you wanna fold down the stroller, and I'll just demonstrate that for you one more time. Flip it over, reach under, clip it over, 
done, great. Now, let's just take the seat off very simply. We just pop that off, great. Okay, the, the trick to figuring out how the upper adapters work. So look for the upper adapter with the warning label. That is gonna be facing in to the stroller with the top of this, with a little square facing you. So the square is facing me, um, the warning label is forwarding into the stroller and all I do is find that area and I click it in. So easy. Now, um, in terms of this upper adapter, same thing. You just have it sort of mirror the other side and you click it in. It works really, really easily. Note, you have to have the stroller folded in order to attach the upper adapters. This is no big deal. You're gonna do this like every once in a while and it's super easy to do. Now the upper adapters are attached and I will open the stroller back up. Great, upper adapters attached. Now we need the lower, uh, lower adapters so that we can add the, the companion seat. Okay, here are the lower adapters. You can see these little red closing things to make sure that you're doing it properly. Really good. Warning label, warning label on the inside. You just have it go all the way down to the bottom of the, of the, um, of the frame. And just so you know, there's a little cord underneath here and you don't want to have, um, get that, have that cord get in the way. And then you just like snap it shut. Here we go. Now, we have the upper adapters and the lower adapters all attached. Um, cool news, folks. They are identical seats. What does that mean? Both seats hold 50 pounds. That is great. So if you compare it to other strollers that have single to double uh, capabilities, they sometimes have like the upper seat has 50 pounds, the lower one is 35 pounds, etc. With the Agio Z4, you have two identical seats, like similar to the Nuna Demi Gro. So you can have two big kids in it. That is really cool. Now, you just pop in the lower one. Okay, you see I have both seats attached. Again, both hold up to 50 pounds. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the handlebar and pull it all the way up to the top. Fantastic. And now I'm just gonna open this. Clicks open. Clicks open and now you can have your two big kids Look it out, stadium seating, push it around, super, super easy to push. And you can have this, if you want to, if you prefer it going in this direction, you can have one child facing in and facing out. Nice amount of room to do this uh, position, which is really nice. And uh, which is very uncommon. Like you can't do this with a stroller like an Upper Baby Vista. You can put the bassinet on the top and have the toddler on the bottom. And remember, the bottom seat holds up to 50 pounds, whereas other strollers, the toddler seat only holds up to 35 pounds. So in terms of longevity and functionality, this is fantastic. I don't always talk about price, but I really need to talk about price on this because this is a fantastic price point. Because what happens is you're looking for a double stroller and you maybe didn't get a Demi Gro or a Vista or a Donkey for your first stroller, and now you want to get one of these premium strollers in the double configuration. You go to look, it's over a thousand bucks. This all in is less than one single Vista, but you're still getting the same quality, if not even better quality, again, Italian made stroller. So you have all these different configurations. You can fold it down with the upper adapters attached. Let me uh, quickly show you how the car seat fits onto the stroller. So I'm just gonna remove the, um, the upper seat. I have a Peg Perego Lounge. This is a reclining car, sorry, a reclining car seat. It's really awesome. Um, I'm doing a full review of the Peg Perego Lounge on the channel, so definitely check it out. The cool thing about this car seat is that it actually reclines. See, it reclines flat-ish, so that when you are walking around your baby, it's in that flatter position, much better for their neck and body position when they're little babies. And then what you do is you just open it back up. So Peg Perigo Lounge is great. You have your toddler with you in it. So you have your baby, you have your toddler, all together with your Agio Z4, with your Agio Lounge car seat in the strollers. To take the car seat out, you just open this little pull, pull, little white pull, pull. Lifts right out. Perfect, and then you put the other seat back in. Um, like I said, this isn't featured in my best strollers of 2021 video, but there are dozens of other strollers in that video, so I recommend that you watch that video after this one. And remember, the Ajo Z4 and the companion seat and the lounge are all available to buy from us from Magic Beans with free shipping.
i will see you at the next video.